we're going to be talking about your phone, your SMS, and your MMS, the ability to be able to use voice and texting inside your system. The first thing that you want to make sure that you've done, and this is in the onboarding setup video, is you go into settings, then you're going to select phone numbers, and inside of phone numbers, this is where you're going to add your phone number. You'll start by adding a phone number used for SMS and calls. And once you add your phone number, you're going to want to make sure that you're compliant. If it's a local phone number, you'll need to get A2P verified. If it's a toll-free number, you'll want to be verified. You'll see what's called a trust center. And this is where it'll come in and set up your phone information. And you'll match it to your business information. You'll set up brands for SMS campaigns. You know when you get those calls that say spam likely with shaken and stir, you're actually shown up as a verified caller. You'll also have CNAME voice and voice integrity. This is coming because AI is coming and it's coming to voice. So you're definitely going to want to select your CNAME so that way you can have your business name show up in the caller ID and that increases call rate pickup when you're calling from your system or your mobile app from your dedicated phone number, it's going to show your business name on the phone and the caller will see it and hopefully want to pick up your business phone call. Voice integrity is coming, so we're definitely going to want to check back on the trust center. Be sure to watch the onboarding video and you'll be able to set that up. Once you get your phone number, there's a few settings that you'll want to do inside the phone number. I'm going to select edit configuration so we can walk through the configuration settings. First, you want to name your phone number. This could be your business line, your text line, or your voice line. You would put a name and this is what your phone number would be called inside the system. You have options to pass the call number as a caller ID, use your verified number as the caller ID, enable call connect feature, and this ensures the more accurate call reporting. When you select this, they actually have to press a button to establish the connection. A lot of times people will ask me what the whisper message is. It's a short message that you hear on your end of the line when a call is connected. It'll help you identify the customer that's calling. A lot of times it'll say things like call from, you could put a business name, call from your business line. My recommendation is putting in the contact full name. And when you select contact full name, it's going to tell you the name of the caller that's calling you. So you can select this if you want to see the contact full name that's inside your system that's reaching out. Another option is call recording. When you turn this on, you'll want to make sure that you're abiding by all compliance, letting people know that the call is recording, and this is all dependent on state and your local government. Incoming call timeout and outgoing call timeout. This is the amount of seconds you want to wait for the phone to ring for the incoming call before it picks up and the outgoing call. And right here, when it says ring incoming call to all users, that's where you would check this box and it would go to all the users. Otherwise, you could select a specific user or a staff member on your account to be able to receive those calls. Once you're done configuring your phone settings, you are then ready to use your phone. You can also do what's called call forwarding. This is where if the phone rings to your text line, you can forward it to your cell phone or another business line that you use to answer your phone. So you can have it ring directly through your text line or you can have it forward to a different number. Once your phone number is all set up and verified, you're ready to use the phone inside your system, both for voice, SMS, and MMS. Voice calls is where you actually call and talk to somebody using your voice. SMS is texting and MMS is texting with graphical images or videos that you're using to use as text marketing. One of the things that I want to point out that are really important when it comes to using your phone number is that you abide by all the guidelines. With our Lead Connect phone system, it's really important that you're not utilizing the system to put in 20,000 numbers and send a text. Your account will get shut down. So we want to make sure that you understand the Lead Connector messaging policy. And I'll show you this so you can get a really good understanding of what 
not to do and what to do to keep your phone number. The ramp up model is what helps you start using your phone slowly to avoid any spam messaging. I'm going to scroll down here. The ramp up model is to protect your SMS reputation and limit exposure. So what will happen is when you set up your phone number, you're going to have some daily sending limits. By about the eighth day and going on, you'll get up to about 5,000 SMS to send. Now keep in mind, these are all based on carrier approval. A lot's changed in the phone industry. It's not just us, it's everywhere. First, we have to be compliant. And then second, if the carrier doesn't like our texting or messaging, they're going to block the text. It's something we're not allowed to be saying or using when we're sending text messages. The most important thing is to just start by texting your current customers, having conversations back and forth. That's going to build your trust center. And once you build your trust center and your communication with your current clients, when you start to send out marketing messages, it's going to be okay because one, they've opted in to receive your message and two, You've abided by the ramp up models to get your phone all ready and warmed up. We also have D&D &D set up inside of each contact. If they reply stop, it's going to automatically remove them from receiving any SMS messages. The D&D &D preferences you can set if they don't want to receive text messages, you can click the text message. That allows you not to be able to use the phone and send email, or you can do vice versa. They can have the email being unsubscribed as well. We just want to make sure that we're compliant for all things voice voice, texting, and email. Sometimes a number will call your number and it doesn't exist. So there's codes for inactive number, unreachable or out of service number. The 3004 was they do not want the SMS. The DND is enabled. 3006, this is a common one where you'll get those spam calls to your phone number and you'll see this error code saying that it came from a landline. This pops up when you use the missed call text back. If you say, sorry, we missed your call and you get an error back, usually that's a landline that was trying to call you directly. And when you send that SMS back, it's saying we can't take it. It's a landline. These are the basic response codes here. Temporary DND &D set for con for the contact, things like that. So you want to make sure that your DND &D is not on or off when you're sending when you're sending those messages. You also want to make sure that your customers have opted in to receive a message from you. When you go into your settings and into your business profile, you're going to see things right in the general settings that say make SMS compliant by adding an opt-out message. When you check that box, it says reply, stop, or unsubscribe at the end of each message. You also want to make sure SMS is compliant by adding sender information, your business information. When you send somebody a text, you'll be compliant. So for now, while you're getting started, I recommend making sure that you have them checked so that way everyone knows that they can stop or unsubscribe and they know it's coming from you and you're covered. We also talked about your chat widget and other forms during our training where you can add a checkbox for them to be able to agree that you can contact them at that phone number, at the phone number that they are leaving for you to reach out to them. You want to make sure that you're compliant both for your phone and your email as well. Once you have your phone set up, then we're ready to use all the features in the software. You can always go into your settings, your company billing, and see your transactions in detail to see what you're using. When you select the C details, you'll be able to see all the details of the transactions, how many calls you make, how many texts you sent, and other premium options as well. Towards the bottom, this is where you're going to see carrier fees. This is not dictated from us. This is the carrier. We don't have any control of what they're going to be charging you based on the text that you're sending. You'll see any SMS carrier fees right here and any MMS fees right here. Remember, MMS is going to be three times the price of just a regular text. Your texting is billed based on 160 character. Each time you send a text at 160 characters, that's how you're charged per text. On an MMS text with an image or a video, that would then become six cents. Think of it as three times, you'll always be covered. You can always check your billing to see what you did the previous month, 
last month. You can also see other charges if you're using content AI, bulk email or dedicated email services, conversation, review AI, and any other premium workflows, triggers, or action. The main thing is looking for how many calls and how much you're spending on calls and how much you're spending on text, how much you're spending on MMS, marketing text, and looking for any carrier fees to see what they're going to be charging you. You can get a good idea of your budget on what you want to use your voice, your MMS, and or your SMS for when it comes to marketing. The biggest thing to remember when it comes to voice or text marketing, whether it be SMS or MMS, it's still going to be cheaper than your average ad. So you want to be able to set these up and use these because you can communicate with your customers the way they want to be communicated, whether it be a phone call or a text or an email, you've got it covered.